Hey everybody. Today we're gonna to look at a system called Backbox. I've never heard of this system before, so this is gonna be new to me, but I believe it is a Debian based uh, Linux system. So let's go ahead and install it and uh, take a quick look. All right, the installer you're using is the uh, Ubiquiti installer, so it's pretty straightforward. Got Eng English selected for my keyboard layout, that's correct. What apps would you like to install to start with? Uh, normal installation, install third-party software for graphics, and Wi-Fi hardware. Erase disk, install a back box. Get my uh, location and user info set up and it will start installing. All right, where are you? Los Angeles, that's correct. <laughs> Who are you? Linux up. Log in automatically. Okay, your passwords do not match. Okay, so we're installing now, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video and we'll come back once the installation is complete. Okay, we're back now. Installation has completed, so let's go ahead and uh, restart and get into the system. Okay, we are rebooted and it looks like <laughs> the XFCE desktop environment. But before I do anything, let me go ahead and uh, fix the uh, the display so we can get a 1080p display out of this. display all right so like I was saying before it's a XFCE desktop environment uh, has the panel on top you can put the panel anywhere you can have it on top on the side and the bottom so the placement of the panel is really not important but uh, let's take a look We've got our standard system tray with a clock that opens up the calendar We've got a volume rocker audio management uh, got some power management put it on presentation mode or other settings notifications and your network manager all right looks like software to, uh, you can remind me later we'll do that later and our applications launcher is located on the upper left corner. Clicking on it reveals all of your uh, applications or where you can find the applications on your system. So I see here a section for auditing. Not sure. Let's see. Maybe you got anonymous. Anonymous start, anonymous status, anonymous stop. I guess this must be one of those uh, pen testing systems. But uh, we'll open up the browser right now and take a look at it to see exactly what it is. Services, SSH, Tor, accessories, all your accessories, development, graphics, Internet, multimedia, office, settings, and your system. All right, one of the first things I want to do is open up a web browser so we can read up a little bit about uh, Backbox Linux. 
I know it's Debian base, has the XFC desktop environment. But let's read up on it. Backbox is more than an operating system. It is a free open source community project with the aim of promoting the culture of security in IT environment and give its contribution to make it better and safer. All this using exclusively free programs, exclusively free open source software, demonstrating the potential and power of the community. And if you'd like to know more, feel free to navigate in our website and get in touch with us. All right, so yeah, it's kind of like a uh, pen testing, pen testing, IT management, system admin, things like that. All right, so while well, I got Firefox open, let's see what uh, version of Firefox they're using. All right, 103.0.1. Start off with a uh, auditing information gathering and grown immunity assessment exploitation. Yeah, these are all pen testing tools. Let's, let's see what information gathering does. Let's go on verb. Oh, it's just gonna open up. Yeah. I guess most of those don't just uh, open up in a terminal window. So we already saw the web browser. Let's see what file manager they use. If it's, SF, if it's XFCE, then more than likely it's going to be Thunar. But I've been tricked a few times already. Yeah, Thunar 4.16.10. Terminal emulator, XFCE terminal, XFCE four terminal, zero point eight point ten, and well, we have this. Let's do a little H top. Okay, we'll try that again. There we go. XFCE, around that 670 megabyte range on your RAM. That's why I always go to XFCE. It's my go-to XFCE open box. I like the lightweight systems. Yeah. Let's see if uh, they have NeoFetch installed. Nope. And I'm installing these using the uh, app manager. All right, Backbox Linux 8.1, kernel 5.15, desktop environment XFCE 4.16, there you go. 
Huh. All right, see what else we got here. Genie, ID, text editor. A fast and lightweight ID. Genie. Check out our multimedia. So they have uh, the Perot Media Player. It's pretty much similar to the rest. It's like Celluloid and Totem. Perot Media Player 4.16.0. It's all some other uh, other ones in there also. Let's see what those are about. Got VLC, simple screen recorder, and XF burn. All right, let's take a look at the office. Let's see what version of LibreOffice we're running. 7.3.7.2. All right, they have Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math, and Base. Did we see anything as far as uh oh yeah graphics? Let's see what we got. We got GIMP. Gotta have the GIMP. And on GIMP we are running version 2.10.30. Alright. What else did they have in graphics? A simple image viewer. It's as basic as it gets. The Ristretto 0 0.12.2. All right, let's get back into this. Uh, uh, I guess what would this add? Like uh, some type of VPN or something? That's oh, one way to find out. Do you want to kill running processes to prevent leaks? Sure, why not? Do you want transparent routing through Tor? Sure, why not? Alright, MAC address cannot be changed. Change your manual via network manager. Type OK or press answer when you're done. I'm not going to get into all those details, but yeah, most of the pen testing software is done through the uh, terminal. So uh, let's see the services, SSH, it's all terminal stuff. All right. Let's see, exploitation, database, SQL map. Yeah, it all pretty much opens up in the terminal. All right, well, I don't, I don't do stuff like that, so it's not my cup of tea. But uh, that's Backbox. If you're interested in something like this, and it's free, it's open source. You can download it, install it, take a look at it, test it, do what you want with it. But for me. I'm going to end it here, so uh, I'll check you guys out on the next one, and I'm out.